Well, about 60% of patients are going to be cured with their frontline treatment. Unfortunately, approximately 40% of people will not be cured. Uh, there are a variety of reasons that that might happen. Uh, there may be certain risk factors in the cancer itself, so certain molecular features that make it more resistant to chemotherapy. Uh, there might be other issues in terms of the patient's age or other medical conditions that might prevent them from receiving the type of treatment that might cure them. I think that somebody should uh, see a, a, a specialist for a second opinion uh, with, for relapse of fused large B cell lymphoma, primarily because there are still curative treatments or potentially curative treatments for patients in that setting. Unfortunately, these types of treatments are much more intensive and can only be done at specialty referral centers that are typically in larger cities. It's been a very interesting past year in diffuse large B cell lymphoma uh, with uh, new studies being presented uh, for either for untreated patients as well as relapsed patients. And in the past year, it's become clear that patients may benefit from a treatment called CAR T cell therapy in the second line setting if they have particularly aggressive refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma. CAR T cell therapy is in essence a living therapy where a patient's own immune cells are collected uh, and essentially modified in order to attack the lymphoma. And this requires very specialized uh, management uh, for, for side effects that can happen for this and can only be done at larger referral centers. So depending on how well the second treatment works, uh, your oncologist might do periodic scans blood work and exam to either monitor for late effects of the treatment itself as well as for the potential of relapse.